Hello, friends. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Fort Worth, The Roots. Real quick, before we get started, I have to give a big thank you out to all of the listeners that tuned in for just even a, a minute of episode 35. Uh, the reason that's such an important mile marker is there was a four-month hiatus where we didn't put out any content as due to completely unrelated podcast issues that have been resolved, and we're, we're back in business now. But thank you for, for tuning in. It shows me that we still have some support there and that people are still interested in the show. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the intro did change. That's uh, courtesy of Matt Nevesky out of Orb Recording Studios in Austin, Texas. Uh, this is the same person that set us up with today's guest and uh, just an all-around incredible guy that, that didn't mind us sampling one of his songs uh, and, and using it here on the show. So, Matt, thank you for that. Uh, our guest today is a young artist out of Austin, Texas, that has just been killing it. She's putting out so much content. It's great stuff. Um, you can find her on Instagram. Let me not mess this up. The Rainbow Kid. Kid is spelt with a Y. And uh, she's, she's, uh, she's a musician. And um, I, I don't even know how to bracket her... Uh, her, her, her type of music. It's its own genre. It's its own thing. It's incredible. I love it. And uh, I feel very honored to have her on the show. Um, give it up for Jackie Rose. And you can find her material, all her really awesome videos uh, that she made with her team uh, by going to YouTube and uh, just looking up Jackie Rose. J-A-C-K-I-E Rose. Thank you all for being here. Again, a big thank you to everybody that, that's maintained interest in the show, even after a, a crippling amount of time away from from the scene here so uh i'll stop babbling like i said let's give it up for jackie rose thank y'all for being here and i'll see you next week So Lucas is our common connection. Lucas yeah. Peterson, Just Sway Podcast. And uh, he's like, you got to meet Jackie. <laughs> so at, after that, it's like, okay, who's Jackie? Jackie Rose. All right, let me check this out. And I found you and I've been kind of not studying you, not in a creepy way, but I've been checking out your material. You got a lot going uh, on. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> so Fort Worth Roots, you were asking me a little bit about it before, but it's uh, it's just real chill conversation. And what I've been doing is I've been making sure that the conversations are more centered around just what you've been up to and introducing you to the Fort Worth Roots community. Yeah. And then anytime you want to do a recording or you want to put something out on our social media, you share it with me and I'll blast it out on whatever I got. Okay, shit. Thanks. <laughs> but as you could see, like yesterday, you were trying to get a hold of me on Instagram and I was not there. Yeah. You couldn't get okay. a hold of me. Uh, I'm still getting used to some of that stuff. So like Facebook, I'm pretty good about, but like Instagram, I'm still kind of... Dude. trying to figure that out i feel that way about tiktok yeah right <laughs> yeah. like i love watching those videos on tiktok but i can't i don't know what to do like yeah do no. you do you have tiktok videos up yeah i think you just have to be a gen z to really understand oh okay all right sorry see how it is. no hate i want to master all of it you know i want to i want to be in the know and then like i also want to know all the next gener or the earlier generations lingo because i never want to turn into that old guy that doesn't know what's going on you know but then you might be that old guy who does know what's going on right and is that creepy. even worse right that, I don't it know. gets kind of creepy at a point <laughs> no. right he's just like what's wiggity 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 <laughs> wax uh? don't talk like that granddad oh yeah. i'm so sorry no i was saying if it was me as an 80 year old man and i had kids oh. they might be and like, you'll be like wow that's so swag <laughs> <laughs> granddad no one says swag anymore <laughs> right yeah, you only put that in on the calculators. Swag. No, I, don't, I don't even can, think you can. Can you do that? No. I mean, I need your kind of calculator, I guess. I, I don't. <laughs> Maybe like the fancy ones with the whole keypad. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> the yeah. whole keypad, the, uh, the TI 1000s. Oh, yeah. Do they still make those? Damn. No, but aren't they like 60 or like $100? Well, back in the day when we had TI 81s. <laughs> They were expensive and like nobody had their own except for oh. that one girl that like you borrowed it from. No, 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 no. She had her own, right? And it it was like the fancy version. Rebecca. Everybody else, yeah, Rebecca. No, know. You know her name. You know Rebecca. No, that's my hamster's name. Oh, <laughs> yeah. His name is Rebecca. His name is Rebecca, yeah. and he has a TI eighty one. No, he doesn't. <laughs> but my other hamster's name is Hampy Devito. 
That's cool. Thank you. I love that. Did you come up with that? Yeah. He didn't come at uh, at the pet store as Hampy DeVito? Oh, uh, no, sadly not. <laughs> I wish. But his full name is Hamper Sullivan DeVito. <laughs> why, why Sullivan? <laughs> because his middle name is Sullivan. Oh, well, I, I get that. Dude, but where did it come from? I don't know. It just came to me. That's like, so you know, cool. yeah. you think about like vampires, Sullivan. Okay. Edward Sullivan. Could it be not from like familiar. Twilight? Like. Oh. Oh, I don't even, I think I just made that back up. I'm not in the know. <laughs> I'm not a Twilight person. I got to, I got through the first one. And oh, the, Colin. That's not the last name. It's not Sullivan. They were the Collins, right? Yeah. Yeah. I saw the first one and as soon as like the sun hit the guy and he started, <laughs> started sparkling, sparkling, I'm like, I'm out. I can't do this. Vampires don't sparkle. Lol. You don't know that. <laughs> that's no, true. Kidding. That's true. But you know the meme where the guy's got the table and the sign oh my changed God. my mind. Swag. I can't do it. Wiggity yeah. wiggity whack. <laughs> but I, I I went too far. Went too far yeah. back. <laughs> Calm down, Grandpa. No, it's okay. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> so what, how's your week been? What have you been doing? Um, <laughs> uh, Be eating honest. cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Perfect. Is that every day this week? For the past three days. Okay. All right. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty consistent diet, at least. Yeah, ever since like I got some cinnamon rolls to celebrate the f- release of Five Fifty Five AM, right. I just dropped it a few days That's ago. That's your single, yeah, your most recent single. Yeah, and it yeah. just hit like over like three thousand streams on yeah. YouTube. So that's three thousand. Like, yeah. Okay, I saw your Instagram post, and you were like, "It's almost at a thousand. So oh I went, I went and watched it. Really? Yeah. Or uh, are we talking about your Spotify or oh, your YouTube? I saw your I'm Spotify about my shout YouTube. out. But okay. yeah, the yeah, Spotify shout out Spotify. Um, that did like hit like a thousand streams, but like uh, five fifty five a.m. It's a music video, and um, I mean it's a song. There's a music video to right, it, right? Right. <laughs> and it released a few days ago. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Well, it uh, I I saw a clip of it. I think either on Instagram or oh, something. Shit. And it's a good video. Oh, like, thank you. You worked on it. There's like the part I saw, you're like three different people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was all Shannon. She's cool. She directed it. Oh, that wasn't you. That was Shannon. She's three. Like, she's the no, three no, different. no. No, that's me. But she like came up with that. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I, that was me. Yeah. I vibe hard on that videography stuff. I like the oh, post production stuff. Oh, shit. You should watch stuff. it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to watch it. Okay. <laughs> me, like. You know who else should watch it? What? Everybody else listening oh, to yeah, this. Oh, yeah. I forgot that we're recording her, so I honestly forgot. That's good. That's good. Okay, that's a good thing. Just keep that going. Hello. Nothing's going on. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, people watching. So or tell listening. me, I want to know about the studio. So, like, let me tell you what happened to me when I got here. First of all. You got locked I, out. I don't, like, I don't want to, I don't want to <laughs> give away the location, but it's, like, on Google Maps, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I fuck. <laughs> What's Google Maps? This no. place is on there. So that's the only way I found it, right? I don't, okay. I've never been here before. But when I rolled up, there's like nothing on the front of the building. I'm like, hmm, is this, is this the right place? Is McDonald's? Oh, oh no. Oh, God, it's like a Big Mac and a fry. Yeah. But I walk up to the door and it's locked. I'm like, oh. Oh, my God. So now I'm the dummy that's got to no. knock on. No, 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 no. I don't mean it like that. I'm just like, well, do I knock on the door? Do I? So I tried to you go around God. the building. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I didn't ask God. I called Lucas. God. Oh, yeah. And then I got a text from Lucas. He was my was, savior today. I was like, oh, my gosh. How did you know I was about to text you? I was like going to ask for like your number because I'm like, oh. Oh, I'm, really? Yeah. It's perfect. To be like, oh, my gosh. Sorry. Because my old ass didn't get it's back okay. to you on Instagram. It's okay. So we forgive you. So we're here now. We made it. Yes. Um. This definitely is a music studio. Definitely. There is music studio here. This is the first time I've been in a legit music studio. Really? Yeah. Did you like it? I'm psyched. Or, yeah. I yeah. think that's why I got nervous when I came oh, in. Oh, no. <laughs> it's Victor, really cool. Victor like showed me to that one room oh. and I'm sitting there like, ooh. Look at the stuff. Victor, he mixed my album. Oh, really? And like all my songs. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. He seemed like a nice guy. We only talked for like 30 seconds. Yeah, but. he's cool. Yeah. So what all happens here at Orb? Um, because I thought it was just you and Matt making badass music, but there's like more stuff <laughs> on top of that. Yeah. We just um, make music here. Yeah. It's like yeah. y'all just got a huge family of people that record out of this place. Honestly, yeah, it's just a big family. Why am I getting nervous? I don't know. Do we need to shut that door? No. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> like, I'm like, keep looking over like I'm feeling something. I stare at people when I talk to them, so I hope oh, that's no, not it's making a, me nervous. It's okay. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> I, um, what part, were we talking about? Part of my active listening. 
Uh, oh, we, shit. Some people don't have that skill, though. Well, I had to work on it. Oh, God. I'm, like, Same. severely ADHD. <laughs> Same. So, so, like, I would... So, I was in the military for 12 years. And you oh, have my to, God, really? You have to go through classes all the time. So, I'd sit in these classes, and, like, my ADD would kick in. I'd just be like, meow. <laughs> yeah, meow. And somebody would pick up on it, and they'd be like, get out of here. So, oh, I, had to, I had to figure out how to, like, you not You had to mask that. it. Yeah. So, the way I mask it is I stare at the person that's talking, and it just, like, keeps me locked oh, in so fuck. <laughs> that's Dude, my coping mechanism that's really awful yeah well it works it's like normal no. normal for me now <laughs> dude i just embrace my adhd maybe that's a way i can describe it here we do yeah. everything here <laughs> cool yeah we do like pre-pro writing recording pre-pro oh pre-production oh yeah so yeah. like we kind of map out Oh, these are the drums we want. Oh, yeah. I think I want the bass to be thumpy and fat. Oh, I da da like blah blah blah. It's a it's a uh, mecca of creativity. Yeah, it's where it all starts. It's yeah. like um, Genesis. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, how <laughs> stupid. I like it. I like the reference. But, Everybody um, knows that. Genesis. Wait, people read the Bible. I think people Anyone? know what it is. <laughs> yeah. It was like the number one bestseller for like 3,000 years. So Really? Yeah, it, it's been at the top of the charts for a bit. So. Oh my God. It's a good reference. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like Star Wars references. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Which uh, ever one? <laughs> no, none of them. <laughs> I, hate, I, I like May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. That's perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. my only pun I like. Oh wait, what was I talking about? I was saying something about like you described it as a family here. Yeah. Um yeah, I honestly would just describe this as a big family. Yeah. Like Matt and everybody who works here. It's just like I haven't met Matt yet, but he seems like such a great guy, like through email and talking Aww. to him on the phone. He just seems like a really good dude. And then Lucas, y'all come with high accolades or high recommendations <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Lucas loves you guys. So Aww, we love Lucas too. We yeah. actually recorded in this room. Oh, I get the same room. Yeah. Dang. Except um I'm in the presence of greatness. Where you were sitting, that's uh, where I was sitting. Or do you want to change? No. Is this working for you? No. Where was Lucas? He was there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sitting across. And his stuff from was on the fucking chair like that. Did I'm he do pretty that? Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, do not quote me on that. Does he do YouTube? No. Okay. I, I, I always listen to his podcast, but I've never tried to find him on YouTube. But good thing I didn't. Yeah, because he went there. YouTube. Lucas, get with the program. We need you. On no, YouTube. do not shame Lucas. <laughs> he Poor he Lucas. gets it. There's no shame. No, here. <laughs> but we we need to see things. No, maybe because that would be like a lot of cutting up yeah do you like, cut yours up i do but not like he does yeah he like yeah i tell people all the time whenever i point them towards just sway yeah i'm like if you like fort worth roots you're gonna love this because he puts a lot more attention than his <laughs> yeah as far as like you know he adds the music and he narrates a little bit oh yeah it's perfect it's like a little like Wait, was that the beginning of Shrek or Cinderella when they start out with the <laughs> fucking book? I like, think that was Shrek. Right? <laughs> I think both. So I just went and to. Sleeping Beauty. Have you ever been to Universal Studios in Orlando? Uh, yeah, actually, um, I'm from Jacksonville. Florida. Oh shit! Yeah, okay, so cool. like, um, I used to have a pass at one time, oh, like cool. the annual pass. So when's the last time you went? Three, four years ago. Did they have the Shrek ride back then? <laughs> yeah, isn't it gone now? No, it's there. It's still there. And I've never been more disappointed in my life. You didn't go? <laughs> no, I went. Oh, the three D experience God, with the fucking snot on you. Oh, sorry. Can I curse? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I already Say whatever had the curse. fuck you want. Oh fuck! Fuck! fuck <laughs> oh, the, easy, oh, easy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Five grandmas just logged out. Oh no! Oh, that's grandmas. okay. That's okay. They'll be Priscilla. back. Priscilla, yeah. no. Gretchen, she'll come back. Judy. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> There's probably a Judy that's in her 80s. Oh my god. You think your demographic are 80 year old grandma? It might be. I mean, it's kind of wild. You look at, with like, me and uh, uh, Lucas have the same, like, interactive map. You can see, like, different places around the world. Light oh, up. shit. Yeah. So, like, all of a sudden, India started lighting up, and I'm like, huh. Oh. <laughs> a show called Fort Worth Roots. Yeah. <laughs> and it's popular yeah. in India. But we've had we've had a uh, author on that uh, originally from India. Oh, no shit. Yeah. So I think maybe that's what that's about. But anyway, the, the Shrek ride. So we're waiting in oh. line. <laughs> Back to the important topic. You're right. Yeah. Let's Back to the meat and potatoes. Yum. So <laughs> we're in line like hour or five days. I can't remember. It's hot. 
And then we get inside and we're wow, like... Wow, five days. That's yeah. a good amount of time. I'm just saying in between two, you know what I mean? Like an hour or five days, I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you lose all track of time when you're waiting on Shrek. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so we get inside. It's all We ogre sit down now. and we're... Yeah, it is all ogre now. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think anybody has referenced the Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life video since I, 2017. I, I think everybody's going to get what you meant. Okay. It's all ogre right. now. That makes yeah. total sense. <laughs> but you know the video I'm talking about? I don't think I've seen Okay, it. never mind. Age Wait, thing. I don't want to yeah, talk yeah. about it. Age oh. thing. No, so, no, no. It's but funny. it's just a movie theater. Do you remember? Yes. And then it's like. You put on the fucking like 3D I glasses. I fell asleep six times. Wait. The writers didn't even that long. <laughs> I know. But it was like, huh? <sighs> was it just because you finally got to like a cool place it could be. and like it was dark it could be. and but also know? that it was like just a chair and you're watching a movie and the chair like shakes a little bit but <laughs> like, like e okay. even with the shaking and the snot coming out of the ceiling <laughs> i still just and passed right out wait can we talk about um okay so you wait in line uh -huh. and you it's so ugly like you just keep going like we're in a rat r race or some uh -huh. shit like yeah. a maze and then you go inside and you have to watch these three pigs yeah. talk about how scared they are. Yeah. That's traumatizing. <laughs> like, that's traumatizing. That to see, like, the little, like, what's its space? The little muffin man, dude, the cookie, the gingerbread man, yeah, whatever the yeah, fuck his name yeah. is. Like, scream in pain. <laughs> like, I hate that shit. Like, so thanks, I hate it. Terrified you? <laughs> yeah. You know, I was just so happy to get some air conditioning <laughs> that I don't... I don't think three pigs or a gingerbread man was going to phase me at all. But think yeah. about the kids. It was a little sick. Yeah. Think about the kids. No. So Did you ever scary. go on the ET ride? I will always uh. be right here. <laughs> Sorry. So Did you? I'll, I'll take that as a yes. Yeah. <laughs> that movie Thank traumatized you, me. <laughs> Bob, Katie. <laughs> Did, do you remember on the ride, like? Before Miss COVID came, before uh -huh. we were in a Pensacola, we um you had to like type in your like tell them your name. Oh, and then they would be like, "Thank you, Amy, Katie, we Andrew." Didn't do that. <laughs> we didn't do that. Oh I don't shit! Think. No, and it would just always be so scary. But but that was sorry. the scariest. That like if I was a kid, that would be the scariest <laughs> ride for me. Because when I was a kid, the movie terrified me. Dude, think about it. Like, E.T., he, he's like a alien. Like, mm -hmm. that's kind of scary. <laughs> Dude, did you see the thing where it was like, um, the blah, blah, blah confirmed, like, these are real, like, UFOs? Oh, like yeah, the, government? the Department of the Navy? Yeah. 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 Well, so what they what they verified because I I told e. somebody no, I, I told somebody that the other day I was like the Navy said it's really aliens but that's not what they said they okay, okay, okay. they confirmed that the photos were real oh fuck and that they didn't know where that craft came from so oh shit are they getting ready to tell the truth dude the only reason they would be telling us this is if they're about to have like an alien invasion. Would that be okay? Are you okay I mean, with I an don't alien invasion? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised each day I wake up. So I'm like... <laughs> so it wouldn't surprise point, you if E.T. showed up? Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if like... And I'm not trying to manifest bad things. Never no. mind. I'm taking this back. That's okay. <laughs> I don't want to manifest you on that. the purge. I don't want to do that either. <laughs> but the more I, I, I so listen Shrek? to stuff like that... <laughs> no, let's not get off of Aliens. The more I think about stuff like that, the the deeper I go down the rabbit hole. Somebody the, the oh other day, God. I can't remember if it was Neil deGrasse Tyson or something, but he like he he's saying, hold up your thumb and cover up the night sky with just your thumb, okay? Like the whole night sky, you're covering up ten million galaxies. Holy shit! Just, really? Just with your thumb? Yeah. Damn. And we really are like ants. Yeah, we are. <laughs> So like, any anytime I get overwhelmed or pissed off or upset, I just think about like the the infinity of space, and Ooh. and that ten million galaxies that you can cover up with your thumb. That's just what's observable from the Earth. Yeah, by human eye. So it could keep going. See, I've been thinking about this, but like in the opposite way. Okay, so okay. I have like a little balcony at mm -hmm. my place, and it's blue, so I can see these bright. Little itty bitty red bugs, mm -hmm. like they're tiny, and I'm like, are they furry? I have no idea. I can't oh. see that far. Okay, <laughs> but <laughs> but like, but that's my point. I'm like, oh my god, like the things you can like see just 
by like the human eye uh -huh. and like this isn't even like this is only like one perspective of everything <laughs> yeah no for sure so i'm getting distracted i have adhd uh -huh. too i'm with so. you yeah I'm, i think we're feeding off of each other's energy too <laughs> sorry i don't know what that was i have to pick it up now uh, leave it okay. there it's a beautiful rug by the way did you pick that out oh uh, yeah i actually made it no wait made it that must have taken forever. actually i am working on a rug right now really yeah. Are you crocheting or what? Um, no, I'm using yarn right now. I'm just doing it by hand. Is that not crochet? What am I, I thinking? I have of? no fucking idea. <laughs> That's crochet. I just you tried got the to big ignore. long needles and a ball, no, ball just, of yarn. It's just one needle, and I oh. go through and I knot it and I knot it and I knot it. Then I go through and I knot it. I knot it and then I cut it off. Is then again, needle point. I don't know. I just I said know. something now. <laughs> it's the um. We'll call it. It's the noodle. No, I'm just I don't yeah. Know. The noodle majig. The noodle majig. The thingamabob. The bajubadalub. It's so, most bodacious. <laughs> what did you <laughs> like most about Universal? Um, Since probably I the Minion ride. No, I'm yeah? just kidding. No, fun. I'm just joking. No, no. No, no. Jackie Rose loves the Minion no! ride. That's her favorite ride. <laughs> oh, my God. TMZ. <laughs> I did not confirm this. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Imagine if I was actually mad. We're like, going to just take that clip. Like, yeah. You know what? I'm actually going to walk out. No. <laughs> no no he said i only like the mini ride no oh my god <laughs> um yeah i i can't um probably actually that ride before they changed it i don't know if you had you been there before first time oh just shit got, just got back do you remember like jimmy neutron i don't think mm -mm. No. it wasn't there normal normal did you do the uh did you do yeah. the mummy ride yes that Isn't shit's that cool? so much fun when the when the roof catches on fire Dude, my sister and I, like, she can, okay, my sister can recite the whole thing. Like, <laughs> like, and we've been on it so many times that it's just, like, it's so much fun. But now that, like, COVID has happened, mm -hmm. I haven't really, like, been over there because I've been over here. It's been uncomfortable. Like, yeah. like the whole day, you got the mask on your face. And it's like every single ride, they, w w as you're getting on the ride, they put hand sanitizer in your hand. Oh, my God. Every, so, uh, 20 times a day, I'm... That's rubbing alcohol all over my hands in my house <laughs> in I'm your house even, yeah because i have oh, two okay. hamsters but they're not they they're clean hamsters yeah but like i'm not just gonna be like oh here you go ham oh look i'm petting hampy <laughs> and then like being like okay let me eat some pizza let me rub my my hamster hands hampy devito would never make you sick right oh he's yes he's, oh. no i don't know actually no he hasn't but like <laughs> Yeah, or Rebecca. I swear to God, Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca's the one you really got to keep an eye on. Dude, I have a dog too, but oh, what's he's, your name? Um, his name is Jeff. Okay. Jeffrey Bartholomew. Oh, I thought you were going to say Goldblum. No, no, no. Oh, shit, there's people. <laughs> I feel like we can't talk. We can talk. Um, okay. It won't show up on here. So, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, Jeff, but mm -hmm. he's in Florida. Ah, when yeah. Is he still? Like planning on making a trip to Texas anytime soon? He actually has like he didn't drive though. Like my sister drove mm. and like with my mom, but um, yeah, my sister is taking care of him right now. I really want to see him, but you know, yeah, it's hard. It's hard being away from your fur baby. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I don't Do have, you have a, fur a dog. No, I oh, had a dog, rip. but someone has that dog now. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Look what so, you've done to me, Jackie. I'm <laughs> sorry. I had to bring it up. No, I'm no just kidding. I, so anyway, I just don't have a fur baby. The right army now. took it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Oh, uh, okay. Know, all that army stuff. Oh, I'm a different person now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, so yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your art. About so, Shrek. No, not Shrek. We're done with Shrek, and I'll never Shrek ride that ride again. Shrek five. What are they at now? I don't. I think it's only Shrek four. Okay. Yeah, Shrek. Shrek 5 could be cool. Yeah. If we can get Eddie Murphy back in there and do Donkey. <laughs> if we can get Simon Cowell back <laughs> in. Do you remember that? No, I've only no! seen the first Shrek. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. No! <laughs> sorry if I just clipped the mic. It's okay. <laughs> I like just screamed. Fort Worth Roots gets it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh my God. And you're recording all of this? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Don't worry. I so, any. <laughs> Any hoodle. <laughs> Any hoodle. I love that. I love all your little I ja all Jackie Rose-isms. I always say, um, like, if somebody's asking me how I am, 
I'm always like, oh, I'm Gouda cheese. Or, oh, it's Gouda cheese. I like, like it. Yeah. I don't know why. It just comes out. Do you so. like Gouda? I don't think I've ever tried it like that. It's different. Really? Yeah, it's not like the cheese that goes on your hamburger. It's a little, really? a little weird. Is, would that make it a fancy hamburger? Oh, it's fancy. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gouda yeah. cheese is fancy? Damn right. So when I'm saying <laughs> that I'm Gouda cheese, it's like, oh, shit. I'm you're fancy like, good. You're like a good cheese. I'm a fancy good Dude. cheese. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. <laughs> um, okay, so art. Do you make yeah. any art? I do not. Oh, but I would like no, to <laughs> start curating the podcast in an artistic way. Oh, shit. Kind of like Lucas, but not, but like oh. different. Because he does so good. He's like, he's my role model. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. <laughs> who's Lucas? No, I'm Lucas just joking. P- I'm yeah, just joking. Lucas? Just oh, like. Lol. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> prank caller, prank caller. But that's good. So you got three singles out now? Yeah, okay. I do. And then the album is releasing um in the summer is it done did you finish it yeah my album i actually finished it last year perfect like in the fall slash winter right yeah you spent an entire year polishing it and getting videos ready and uh so i don't know about a year (laughs) but it has been a fucking while (laughs) i am ready for this album to be out so i can release some of my new shit yeah because i think it's like gotta kind of do it in order right yeah not that it's like better but like i feel like i finally found myself as an artist and i'm like kind of grew past it yeah like i'm like oh fuck like i'm learning about like how it's really hard to listen to some of your music sometimes dude i know uh well i (laughs) When, whenever Were you, you in a band? No, no, no. I'm talking oh. about hearing your own voice and watching oh, your own podcasts. stuff. It's it's hard, right? Yeah. Like, to hear your own voice? Uh, and then, no? Is that sometimes. Not, not where you're at with that? No, sometimes I'm just like, oh, fuck, I really am that nasally. I like. <laughs> I sound like I just like ate a helium balloon. <laughs> like, for real. Well, but. Um, <laughs> I really like your music. I like where Thank it's you. going. And uh, you're 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 gonna be uh, cherished by everyone that listens to it. Oh, do you want to talk about what goes into making an album? Oh fuck! I feel like I should ask you some things about what you're doing. So tears and sweat. Yeah, album is like. Why are you sweaty, crying, (laughs) and bleeding? (laughs) And bleeding. I don't know. It's just like it's a like. Okay. Matt throws rocks at you till you get the tone right. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you're not on pitch. No, he <laughs> you doesn't. can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. Oh my god, I, that does not happen. I can actually <laughs> confirm that's not true. But um, it all starts from like, I don't know, just collecting all the things I've written and like mm-hmm. blah blah blah. Like I have um, this thing and it's a songbook and I like. It all starts from like your diary, to be honest. I'm literally sharing pages of my diary. Right. <laughs> That's right. what my music is. And so like I'll tear it out and I'll put them in this folder. It's like a laminated folder. Mm-hmm. And like um that's where it all started. And then me and Matt went through and we picked out some shit and like Yeah. And made some magic out of it. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> uh, I think the album's okay. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. whenever you release it, we'll all know. Yeah, I actually recorded vocals for it in that room. Where I was B sitting? Room. Yeah. yeah, and then where Victor is in the A room, that's where we recorded all like the instruments and stuff. Yeah, and then y'all just sit there and, and tweak it and play with it for yeah. months on end? I just listen to drums while my head goes like mush, mm-hmm. like mashed potatoes. Just kind of let it do its thing. So we're like... Like treating drums for hours, and I'm just like staring at the fucking screen. I'm like I just want to fucking die. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's so much fun though. That's yeah. the worst part. It's like I like. That's like my least favorite part. It's like listening to the drums, but like once everything else is like, because I think it just sounds so bare. Yeah. But like when it starts getting filled, I'm like, okay, I can, I can understand why that was a good choice. So some of it is like really intense mashed potato yeah. brain work yeah and same with comping comping Comping. vocals composition no like when you're like like you'll do different vocal takes okay and they'll be like oh we like this part or we'll take this or we'll chop this so you'll take a dozen different tracks and like see oh which one was the best take 
in between we, second should we put them all together should we just take this one take and just like let it play through you yeah, know that's yeah. usually the way i like to work but yeah. sometimes it really depends who's producing mm-hmm. but i love to produce so that's I, my i stuff. like i like the uh post production editing side of it but yeah i don't know if do, do you just like the singing more i love post production yeah i am like a into producing like a hundred percent like yeah. i fucking love producing but um that's literally all i do like at home it's yeah. just work on demos and it takes stuff. a lot of time yeah and make soap and making candles you make your own soap yeah <laughs> like fight club style <laughs> have know. you seen that movie no i haven't so what like, happens in fight club stays in fight club that's true but let, let me just compare notes to see if you're doing it the same way they would go to a liposuction clinic and they would still oh, yeah. fat out of the definitely dumpster. that's literally how no i'm just kidding yeah <laughs> so I, I figured that's the only way to make soap everything i know about soap is from fight club so uh yeah as <laughs> um as a lot of soap makers get their information from a fight club right right so where do you get all your fat to make your bars of soap? Um, well, I called the liposuction, 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 <laughs> liposuction <Yeah>. people. And <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't know where the country is, accent is. That your best hillbilly? No, I was actually born in Travis County. So you got it. So I'm able to um, just switch. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I love like voice acting and stuff. Do you do any so, voice like, acting? Uh, no, just but for like funsies? yeah, for funsies. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. I I do like little kid voices and just like little girl voices and stuff. <laughs> and I also like singing them too. Like I love to sing and like this like this is a really bad goofy impression, but do it's it, like do it. wake me up, wake me up, you sleep. <laughs> wake me up, you save me, save me. <laughs> I feel like I should be clapping. I also feel like I should have a banjo. We're going to need a, a wash tub or something to slap on. Oh, let me go get a shaker. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We can if you want. No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> OMG. But yeah, that's like, yeah. So Lucas went into it a lot. <laughs> just take your, is that the curtsy? Or no, just that's a bow? like, a, a oh, fuck. Oh, falling Like, out? oh, shit, everything's <laughs> moving. Okay. <laughs> Lucas talked a, a little bit about the... Uh, <laughs> I have been trying to get the word down, but the the condition. Synesthesia. 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 It's okay. Everybody's scared to say it. I am because uh, it like I'm a I synesthete. Did, uh, you are a person a synesthete. who has synesthesia. I think I can handle synesthete. that better, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's well, Luke has really scary. went into it, but I did want to uh, bring that up in the episode just so that uh, Fort Worth Roots listeners Yo. knew offhand that. You you have a lot of differences about you that could potentially make you one of the most prolific artists on the planet. Wow, that's a bold statement. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the most prolific, but hey, thank you. Whatever, I'll say it if I want. Um, <laughs> I do be like seeing music in color and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so I'll let the listeners look it up if they want to. I'll put yeah. the show notes with the the, the title to the... Uh, condition or whatever but the more i hear about it and the more i listen to the podcast you did with lucas it sounds like a superhero power it does not sound like a disability yeah it's definitely not a disability Uh -uh. it's super chill yeah i really wanted to ask you like what color is my voice oh my god (laughs) do i have one yours is more like purpley okay what was lucas's uh his is more like green i got more bass bro Oh, fuck. How did he know, like, the lower it is, the darker? Because I listened to the podcast. Oh. Oh, I was like, how did he know that? Blew your mind, Jackie. Yeah, I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, That's yeah. really cool. That, yeah. So when someone's talking, you see it in kind of a wave format, but with yeah. the color attached to it. Yeah, so um, that's one type. Mm-hmm. I have extreme synesthesia. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I have a few different types. Yeah. So the mirror thing was the most fascinating oh, yeah, portion mirror of it to me. So that I told, shit hurts. Yeah, I told everybody I was like, I'm gonna wear a really comfortable shirt. Oh, to see if maybe <laughs> I did actually notice that. Maybe that will help her feel more comfortable. So, like I was like, oh wow, that that does feel really nice. <laughs> like yeah, good, it worked. All right. Oh my god, sorry. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, mirror touch is a trip. That, I, I mean, thought everybody had it. Yeah, that. Well, I mean, if you don't have anybody tell you that that's not normal, how would you not know? Or how would you know? I mean, that's so true. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's true. Wise words. Yeah. <laughs> Wise words. <laughs> Which so also makes you question everything about reality. How do I know this is real? How do I know <laughs> everybody crisis. else is going through this? Nah, I'm not scared. Cool. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Um, Then talking about that and the way you were mentioning like the colors and the way you feel things and experience kind of life through a completely different lens. I wondered if you knew anything about quantum entanglement and all that other spooky like <laughs> uh, fringe science stuff. Because that no. sounds like something that eventually, 100 years from now, they're going to be like, oh, they didn't know that Jackie Rose had a condition that tied her to the next dimension. Yeah, I, I those were really big words, <laughs> but I tried to follow my best. Um, I'm a smart little cookie. So I can I, see I, that. No, just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say Nutcracker. To be to, or like, what is that? No, I'm that was a play. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to like come up with a scientific way to tell you you've got superpowers. <laughs> oh, shit. That's what I'm Thank trying you. to tell you, Jackie. I do be like <laughs> um, a superhero. No, it's weird that you bring that up, though, because like when I was little, I was like, wow. Like, I feel like everybody goes through this where they're like, dude, I'm a superhero. But yeah. like now that people tell me that, I'm like, what the fuck? That's like kind of weird. But like, yeah. not like that it's weird. It's just like weird to take in that not everybody like feels music like i have something called music touch oh and like i always feel like hi-hats here and like they're always like orange little fives yeah and like yeah so it's this it's really weird like being in the studio and working with people and being like you didn't feel that was off key (laughs) (laughs) no one else feels gross yeah Yeah, like because i'm like oh mm." especially with like auto-tune Mm-hmm. Or um, there's something called what is it called or whatever when you like, um, when you touch up your voice, it's just like um, the, e- me- the EQ. The- no, it's called I almost said Melotron. It's called Melodyne. <laughs> so when it's you not, Melodyne, it's not a Decepticon. No, okay. It's like fancier auto tuning. Like auto tune is just lazy. Yeah, but when you Melodyne, it's like it's what auto tune does, but you're work. doing it manually. Yeah, right. Okay. yeah i can confirm i don't have any of that on my album right okay thank god very cool um yeah but i guess and i just thought of this as you're telling uh, kind of describing that but music is probably the closest somebody without your condition gets to crossing senses because music does kind of tie in uh different feelings for people right? yeah i mean that that you you listen to something that means something to you and it's going to kind of it's kind of like feel different, it. right? Yeah. You know? I mean, I get that a lot, especially when I listen to certain musicians. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I feel that with Taylor Swift weirdly enough. Like last night, I was I wasn't expecting you to say yeah, Taylor Swift. I know. Wow. <laughs> I know. Do you have some uh some some boyfriends you're mad at? Oh, Cuz that's no. her that's her thing, right? Taylor Swift? Honestly, like sometimes but not always yeah she has like when i think of taylor swift that's just what i think of like angry well first <laughs> fuck jake gyllenhaal second of all, of all <laughs> sorry i remember all too well okay that is a good song okay my favorite shake it off <laughs> i i will get down to shake it off <laughs> that was like love that song forever ago. oh god jackie shake i'm old i get it <laughs> i was alive too <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> that was so long ago. How old are you? Like Moses age? At least. Yeah. Oh. I, I actually watched him part the Red Sea. Oh my so, God. Yeah. <laughs> the Red Sea. Oh my God. We're back to Genesis. We made no, it back that was to the not Bible. that was not in Genesis. It was Old Testament though, right? Yeah. Oh, well. Did you grow up uh, like Christian? Or? Yeah, yeah. My dad was a quote unquote pastor. Oh my god. Yeah. So you were you were a pastor kid? Mm-hmm. Oh yep. my god! So that set unrealistic expectations for yeah. you. ADHD pastor yeah. kid. Yeah, that sounds awful. <laughs> no wonder you went to the military. No, right. I'm just joking. Yeah, I need structure, and I need somebody no. to yell at me. No, that's awful. <laughs> yeah, the military sounds like hell. No, eh. no thanks. You know what? For me, I was you, silly kid. Didn't have a real bright future ahead of me, and you were uh, just yeah, needed something to do. So. <laughs> Just went to uh, Iraq, like, okay. Iraq and Kuwait a couple times. No big oh deal. Oh, my God. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> you know, the, the summers are a little intense, but, uh, man, yeah. if you like sand, it's the place for you. 
Yeah. Uh, mm, I don't know <laughs> if I like sand or not. <laughs> but like, it's like the beach, but without the ocean. Yeah, that sounds awful. Actually, I love the Kuwait's beach. Kuwait's got an ocean, but oh, that's not the part I was at. <laughs> I wasn't at Congratulations. that part. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So, what countries have you been to? Me? Yeah. Um, I've been to Mexico. Check. Um, Canada. I've been there. Um, do the places like I? Okay, wait. I've been to Germany. Okay. I had a layover in Germany one time. Oh, we're including layovers? <laughs> okay, then if we're including layovers... I'm trying to keep up with you, that's then all. Then Amsterdam and Paris, but okay. I didn't get to stay there. I was just like there for the... The switching. little touch and go, yeah. yeah. And I also uh, presented art in Moscow, in Russia. Uh-huh. So I was invited um, by Dr. Jimmy Ward. That is so yeah. cool. See, you've got two pieces that are on the wall here. Yeah. And those are representative of two different songs you were telling me. Yeah. And that's really cool. But how did... So what else is going on with your art? And I'm going to put some links in the show I notes. just do be like painting. I just... Right now I've been really enjoying just painting songs I like. Yeah. And um, I also do take like requests from so other people too. Are you painting songs from other artists? Um, For other artists or from? Well, from well, yeah, from from, from the oh, music. Oh, from sorry, yeah. I didn't hear. Well, I said it wrong. I no, said it no, wrong. no, no, it's okay. Yeah, um, yes. There's even like a a, a painting in the hallway, mm-hmm. and that's mine. For for what song? Um, it's not out yet. It's gonna be my fifth single I'm okay. gonna release. It's called Hush Hush. It's okay. all about like um being silenced and shit. Okay. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> silenced and shit. No, it's true. It's about police brutality and like global warming and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So I'll have to check that out on the way out the door. Can I take a picture of it and put yeah. it in the podcast? Yeah, for sure. Okay, don't let me forget because I do that. I'll, okay. I'll forget stuff. So I forgot you were recording. Again? Yeah. I'll keep reminding you. Dude. Oh, it's because we have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask you. Are you? Do you need to be anywhere? Do we, are we on a time sensitive? No, I'm not on a time sensitive thing. The right. only sensitive thing is like, um, my hamsters wake up at midnight, so <laughs> I have to be there. <laughs> or they'll be like, what the fuck? No. Where's Jackie? No, they get really mad at me. Hampy hates me, but they he loves me. Send like nasty emails or? Yeah, he sends me, he sends me hate mail the old fashioned way. Wow. He sends it to my P.O. box. <laughs> I'm like, dude. I'm like, HSD, Hampy Sullivan DeVito, like, are you effing kidding me? Like, they're, you're calling CPS on me? Like, <laughs> How no, dare you? I'm I stupid. keep your water bottle full, the <laughs> pellets are in the bowl, Aww. I clean out your shavings. Yeah, I do not um, feed him in a bowl. That's a lie. No. <laughs> what do you... I sprinkle oh. it around. Oh, Because okay. it's like enrichment. He gets happier when he, like, finds it. Mm. He feels he feels like he achieved something. Yeah. He forged and found. Yeah, so it's <laughs> foraging, exactly. <laughs> That's, like, what it is, just to, like, promote instincts. Nice. Yeah. And All stupid. <laughs> if he ever gets out, he can survive. Yeah, but he, he cannot get out of the thing. <laughs> like, I... If he climbed that, I'd be so surprised because he's in, like, a glass tank. I've got a super sad hamster story. Do you want to hear it? No, I just okay, realized not, I haven't told my sister or my mom or my dad about my second hamster. And here I am, like, announcing it to the world. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, my How much bad. trouble are we getting in? Uh, Not that much. Well, you got a few weeks before this one airs. Nah, it's so. not like it's not like they'll care, but they'll be like, oh, you're just, like... Just telling everybody before you told us? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're not emotionally stable to have two. <laughs> two you, know, no, just you, <laughs> you got three, three or four weeks. I don't know. I oh can't remember God, what the release you. is. So you got some time. Okay. Oh, my God. But just hurry. I'm going to Don't keep send, it to yourself. I'm going to send a letter. <laughs> old school style. Yeah. yeah, yeah P.O. box. <laughs> The hate mail. <laughs> oh, my God. So the Fort Worth Roots listeners don't know about this yet. <laughs> but you have an incredible well, team that's kind of helped put you through the 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 ins and outs of, of putting your album together, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I know Matt. But who? Husky. Yeah. And shout out to Matt. Thanks for setting all this up. Thank you, Matt. The best. Um, who else is on your team? Because I heard you mention that in the podcast. Oh, my team. Your oh, team. God. There's like... Wait, can you do this all in hillbilly voice? Yeah, so my first one is Matt. He's like a brother to me. Yeah, yeah. I am. 
I um <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad for you, doing you it can in do country. That. You can do it. So <laughs> um then um I had uh Paco Estrada help mm. uh yeah. right. Yeah. And um I also work with Sean Giddings. He's he's played a lot of piano on my all piano on my first <laughs> album. What's Paco do? Paco's a writer. He helped me. Re- he helped me uh, finish the strings, if mm-hmm. he so will. You know, put the biscuits in the oven. Yeah. And uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and he, uh, I broke character. No, and don't do it again. He, and he um, helped me write opening umbrellas and uh, my favorite so far. And uh, what's it? Oh, hush, hush, and shooting out our brains. That's number five. What 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 number? Uh, Shooting out her brain. I think that's number nine. Okay. I have a number nine with the, <laughs> with the chili fry. Okay. Uh, I'll see Perfect. That. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking oh, way. Oh, not that one. You have a sound pedal? Ooh. I've been hitting the wrong. That's. I need to label these. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the yellow one. <laughs> Yeah, those people are cheering for your excellent southern accent. Thank you. Well, you thought southern that was people. the team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you thought that was the team. And then I have... Um, oh, we got more? Evan, who usually films. And then we have um, Will Knack on okay. guitar. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. So all that is the team. And, and, and Jackie might be forgetting somebody. Oh, and Ronnie. <laughs> Don't He's my Ronnie. vocal teacher. And Ronnie is very important to the team. No, for real. And um, the people I mentioned too, Sean Giddings and... Um, and Will Knack, they're also like my teachers. Mm-hmm. So I'm taking guitar lesson right now, guitar lessons right now. And um, I I was getting bass lessons from Matt, but he hurt his finger. Oh so. no, is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. I just don't want to, you know. And then um, yeah, piano lessons too. Matt is the basis for Blue October, right? Yeah. Okay, I was asking. Because I, I thought that was right. And I was asking Lucas when I got here, and you got here before he responded. So I was like, oh, oh no, I think it's okay. that's right. So the mental health thing, it seems like a lot of people are really championing that right now. I think everybody, especially with the coronavirus stuff, is... Miss Rona. Miss Rona. Miss Rona. Miss Rona. Miss Rona, yes. Ms. Rona. Or as I, I like to call it, the virus. The virus. Um, <laughs> But no. mental health really came into this a lot. I mean, suicide rates were through the roof. There's a lot of oh people God. dying from alcohol poisoning. Just there's a lot of mental health issues. And then we've got some friends that come on, Andrew and uh, Jana Green. And, oh, yeah. And they're uh, mental health experts. They've got to practice over somewhere in Bee Cave. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. Oh, um, wow. But they were talking a lot about mental health and how we need to normalize and yes. make it okay to, to talk about your problems. But... With you talking about that and then me kind of preparing for this uh, recording, I was wanting to ask you, like, do you think that somebody with your condition a hundred years ago would have been able to live a normal life without people kind of pushing you to the side and going, oh, man, oh shit. there's that weird person. She can see sound. Dude, some people just, like, don't fucking like that shit. So even now. Right. So, that must be really hard. Like, was, that must have been really hard. Yeah. I was telling Lucas, I was like, you know, it's it's great that Jackie is in this place in this period of time because, say, like a thousand years ago, it, it just, it would have been more than socially people could have handled, right? But now we're kind of in this place where we, we accept that stuff. It needs to be better, right? Yeah. We need to understand and and rather than just understand, we need to be able to foster people's gifts like that. We need to promote people's gifts like that. Rather than label them as a disabled person, we need to take conditions like what Jackie Rose has and <laughs> foster it. Because you can do things that people can't. You can see tones and, and noises, and you can actually figure out things a lot quicker using your gift. Yeah. So... It's just great that you're being kind of taken care of with this rather than shunned. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Maybe I went too far with that. But. No, no, <laughs> you didn't. I, um, I've um, i been told like that like I'm being overreacting, that it's not real, da 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 So, like, I don't... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. It's okay. 
There's like funky music. Hold on, the dance door. party. All right, okay. we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Sorry, what were you talking about? Oh yeah, we're dancing but right now. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really lucky to be in this period because there's still places all over the world like, um, like that are still accepting this, and it's just like, why would we make this up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're saying your biggest pushback right now is people telling you you're a liar or something? Yeah, that type of shit. But I, it doesn't really phase me anymore. It used to really bother me, mm-hmm. but like then it, well, it didn't, and then it did, and then it, no, it, I like I don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna just paint whatever you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, talk. I'm gonna keep yeah. painting your bullshit. Yeah, because yeah, it's coming me. out in colors. They have a GoPro Nine now. Really? That's a six. That thing's a dinosaur. It's old like me. Wait, they have over four different types of GoPro. They have nine. Do they just release one every year? I don't know, but they have a nine. I think I bought that one probably four shoes? years ago. They might no. be. No, they're not. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm just making sure. Now I'm like, sure they're different. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah, they are different. <laughs> oh, my God. They are different. This is, yeah. Well, I feel ridiculous. I'm wearing the same shoes. Oh, my God. I was like, wait, this might be different. <laughs> they, and I was looking at the back, not even checking the, f- oh, my God. I really walked uh, in here like this. It's cool. Let me I, cover them. You noticed it, though. I didn't even notice Sorry. it. Sorry. They're close and enough. I understand the mistake. Now everybody understands <laughs> my mistake. No, I'm just joking. Like, anybody even could see my shoes. I think that you need to <laughs> let me know next time we need to get together and talk about some serious shit that's going down. Oh, fuck. I Martians. Mean- or black holes, or other crazy things. What like is that. the title of this episode going to be? Aliens. Jackie Rose lays it cheese. all out about Hamster Devito. Hammy, Hampy. Hampy, Hampy Devito. Oh my fucking god, dude! <laughs> if you're gonna quote my hamster's name, at least do it right. I got it no, right last joking. time. I got it right last <laughs> I'm time. I'm just joking. No, you know what's really weird. One out of weird? two ain't bad. Yesterday, I went to the pet store to uh-huh. get some things. And, like, my cousin was with me. That doesn't have anything to do with the story, but she was there. <laughs> and shout out to Sassy. And she, <laughs> anyway, there was a lady there. I'm glad she was there because I don't think anybody would believe me because this lady comes up to me and she's like, oh, my God. Um, And she was pointing at the lady. She's like, she, like, her hamster's name is, wait, one second. She's like, happy to be And I was like, <laughs> What is my life? Like, so this 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 other lady has a Hampy DeVito? No, no, no. Oh. Like she works at the store. But oh, she was okay. telling another employee. Sorry, I'm oh, a horrible oh, okay. storyteller. No, no, no. I probably just lost focus for a second. Oh, that's it's probably okay. what happened. No, no, that's definitely not what happened. What happened was that um, I told you I'm bad at talking. Yeah, well, I think you're doing fine. And you're not bad at making music because your singles have been awesome. Yeah. Oh, dude, you were asking about like the A room and stuff. Did yeah. you see Red Flags? I like saw the, the music video. I saw the video. That's the first thing I saw that you made. Dude, that was in the A room. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, put your mic just a little closer. Oh, fuck. Something happened. It like You're. got away from your mouth. Is this, is this ASMR yet? That's no. It's perfect. What is? Oh, yeah. Just sound effects? Is that what ASMR is? No, it's like when it's really like. When it's really like. Just like that. You don't know what that is? Or like, uh-uh. Oh, just sound effects? I guess. Yeah. I'll have to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> look that shit up. ASMR. Uh, just be careful. I don't know. It's a scary rabbit hole. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, I don't know. It it starts off all innocent, but like people like just like eating shit. It gets real weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And then like mukbangs. Do you know what those are? Uh-uh. When you order a shit ton of food and you just like eat it all like in your recording. Okay. Like on video? Yeah. Okay, and then what do you do? I don't know. God. People watch. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> you fucking eat it. And the, I'm like, I got into podcasting. I'm not getting into the new thing, which is oh. eating a shit ton of food on camera. That's I guess. not new, but <laughs> I guess it is new to your generation. That's right. What are you, baby boomer? No, I'm just whenever, kidding. <laughs> whenever Moses was parting the Red Sea, there was no ASMR or binge video, like binge eating on Damn. videos. Just didn't exist. Dude, and, but you and can then binge created the binge wheel, each. and that's when things got out of control. <laughs> you can binge eat by yourself. 
<laughs> Wait, are you blaming it all on the wheel? I'm just telling you, this technology, it's, uh, it's not the, root the wheel, of all man. Evil. Yep, started with the Hate wheel, the now playa, we got the internet, the then the videos, and then the gorge eating. I mean, it's just gorge eating. Started with the wheel. It's kid gorgeous. <laughs> it's like <laughs> gorge eating. John Mulaney's thing. She's having a, not a blue cheese day. What was it? A gouda cheese? <laughs> Dude, if you, if you are going to quote day, me, like, no, I'm just kidding. I'm I don't care. On it. I'll have it down next time. This is a recording. I can study. Oh my god! <laughs> I came here. With we can next re-record. To no, notes. no. If this turns out like <laughs> shit, we can do this again. No, <laughs> it's not going to be shit because you're an interesting person, and that's what it's all Yay. about. Yay! Oh yeah, I make music. I do the music thing, and yeah, that's my and art. Promo. Okay, where do we go to find your music? Oh shit! Spotify and all major platforming. And they just look for Jackie Rose. Yeah. Okay. And YouTube. Where do I find your art? Um, you can find it on like. Uh, ask God. And Just ask God and yeah. it'll show up. No, um, <laughs> you can go to my Instagram. I post some there. Okay. Jackie Rose on Instagram. What's your handle? The Rainbow Kid. That's right. That's right. But KYD. KYD for kid. Don't mess yes. it up. Don't mess up the spelling of kid like I messed up everything else in this recording, as Jackie pointed out about a dozen times. Can you put that there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank y'all for being here, Fort Worth Roots. We'll see you next week. And that's Jackie Rose in a nutshell. But we're going to have to get her back on the show because I think we can all tell there's a lot more to Jackie Rose. There's plenty more content that we get to probably dig out of Jackie. And we get to watch her grow as an artist. Jackie's, you know... She's not brand new to this, but she's at the beginning of her musical artistic career, and we caught her at a great time. You know, her music's awesome, her videos are the shit, and she's just, she's great. So it's cool that we we get to kind of, at the beginning of her career, meet with Jackie, and we'll see how she progresses, and it's it's going to be great. Big thank you to Matt Nevesky again. I hope people don't get tired of hearing me say that, but... Thank you. And uh, also Lucas Peter- uh, <laughs> Lucas what? Lucas Peterson from the Just Sway podcast, who is the connecting tissue that put all this together. Um, that, that's really, that's it. Y'all make sure y'all check out Jackie Rose on YouTube. Jackie Rose, Jackie, J-A-C-K-I-E, Rose. And um, on Instagram, I, mean, I don't want to mess it up, the Rainbow Kids, it's Y instead of I for kids, so... Uh, really cool stuff, man. She's putting out videos all the time. And it's not just, you know, people like me who will get on Instagram or YouTube and just make a, you know, very uh, talentless video. She's, she's very artistic. It's good stuff. Very entertaining. You got to check it out. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, if you want to contact me, it's media at fortworthroots.com. Um, always looking for guests. We've got uh, Nitu Rishi. Um, I, I believe she was episode 12. Um, it's uh, our, our author friend from many, many months ago that uh, she's now releasing another book. So she's coming to record with me uh, this week. Uh, I get to uh, hang out with an old friend. Uh, feels feels like old friend because it's been a long time. But it's going to be great. She's got a new book. We're going to hear about that. And uh, that's going to be episode 38. So um, there's always other stuff. I... I publish these episodes and I listen to them and then I'm like, man, why didn't I? There were so many other things. But uh, it's probably why you should write stuff down. I'm just really bad at that. Um, <laughs> thank y'all again for being here. The The four-month hiatus I took really, uh, it kicked my ass. It, it, every week that went by and I didn't put out an episode, it was upsetting. So, no, But we're back, so that's good. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to quit talking. Y'all are the best. I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.